Now that you're under my spell, welcome to the video. The cut series, we're getting shredded. Absolutely sliced and diced. Today we're gonna to talk about how to work out for shredding, how to change your programming to get diced, shredded, lean, shredded beef, cheese, macaroni, lean style. We're gonna talk about cardio, programming, what lifting and activity should look like to look your best. 3SB.co for all your clothing needs. Salam Mike, let's dive in. Make sure you're real basic, right? We kind of got two different kind of workouts. We got resistance training or lifting weights and we got cardiovascular. Now there's different types within there, right? Obviously within lifting weights, we have more bodybuilding, which is a style, power lifting, weight lifting, strong man, kind of different categories. Cardio, the two basics. Uh, if you guys want to go back to the other video, we tier list cardio out. Um, and the things that I like, and I dig a little bit more in depth in cardio, but we got like low intensity, which is kind of a lower pace, longer term, style of exercise where you're getting your heart rate going. The other one's like high intensity. So you're doing some type of sprint. Um, and obviously it's a spectrum. There's things in between. You can go moderate intensity for 20, 30 minutes, et cetera, et cetera. But a sprint, you're going all freaking out. Um, normally under 30 seconds because you can't go all out any longer. Longer breaks and then you go hard again. So hit is almost kind of like the lifting style of cardio. The keys, the most common question I get um, as I'm losing weight or people trying to lose weight and look good, whether it be bodybuilding or just for your own personal life, um, look good naked. Uh, the key of lifting, how do you lift or how do you change your lifting and programming now that you're cutting? Um, and the truth is, the basics are to build muscle takes a lot more effort, stimulus, time, and food than it does to just retain or maintain muscle. So when we're losing weight and we're taking calories away, which is the number one factor in losing weight, I change nothing in my training. You wanna hold on to that muscle by training it and giving it the same stimulus you did as when you built it. So whether you've been in maintenance or a bulk phase, let's say you're doing lower body twice a week, push twice a week, pull twice a week, which is something similar to I do, and the amount of volume, the time of intensity, how close to failure you are, um, and the amount of exercises you do per workout, you want to keep the exact same as long as you can. And that's almost becomes the standard. As I try to keep my strength, my performance in the gym, in those lifting sessions, the same as when I was bulking. And that tells me that I'm retaining or maintaining as much muscle as I can while we're still losing weight, which I am. New low weigh-in, 208, a little bit leaner than I was. The veins is coming. Last week on uh, Incline, I think my best on this whole year of training incline was like a 320 single, 315 for two, and about 275 for five or six, and I did 275 for five last week, which again tells me we're sitting in that pocket. So in terms of training programs themselves, there's tons out there free. You can grab a coach, you can grab a program. I have some, kaizentraining.com if you wanna check them out. We have tons of free content and education there as well. Um, and so much depends on your goals, right? What, what your training looks like as a power lifter versus, or a strength athlete versus hypertrophy and trying to build muscle, aesthetics, or bodybuilding may look slightly different. Um, and then you may have goals above that. If you don't wanna compete in either, you may just wanna be faster, jump higher for life or for a sport. All that's slightly individual, um, but generally speaking, you know, I do something called the push-pull legs, it's super basic. You do that three times and you repeat it. So you train the push, which is chest, tricep, shoulders, a pull, which is back and biceps, and then a leg, which is obviously uh, calves, glutes, quads, and hams. Um, you either take a day off in between or repeat. So I train six days a week, Monday through Saturday, basically, just repeating those. You can train full body, which is great for both 
powerlifting, strength stuff, and bodybuilding, depending on how you program it. You know, the whole big picture of programming in terms of volume, which is how many, how much work we do, frequency, which is how often we do something, exercise selection, choosing the type of exercise as the best intent and stimulus for what your goal is. Um, that's a much bigger conversation than we're diving into today. Uh, you can check old videos, I've gone deeper into programming, or comment below if you guys have particular questions on programming, we can dive into it in the future. Um, but generally speaking, again, what you're doing when you're bulking, what you're doing when you're at your peak performance is the same thing you want to do when you're cutting, and hold on to that, that strength, hold on to that volume as long as you can. Truthfully, y'all, it's not that complicated. Stick to what you're doing. Get a little bit of calorie deficit going. Sprinkle in some cardio for health and maybe a little bit of supplemental calorie burning. Stay active. As much as you can walk will help. And keep your training the same. Hard, heavy. I'm pushing it. Uh, it's an old myth, man. You can train heavy while on the deficit. You're not going to die. Stay hydrated. Just keep your sleep up. You'll be absolutely fine. 3SB.co. New clothing coming real, real soon. So stay tuned. June 19th, we got the Americana drop. This cap. Couple tees, couple shorts. I think you guys will dig it. Some of our premium tees. Um, I don't think there's a better tee out there, honestly. Cut and sew, fully custom t shirt. Good company, 3sb.co. Appreciate y'all. Go goodcompanydiscord.com if you want to get first dibs, first looks at all our clothing. I'm Salma Mike, man. Third Street Barbell, Sacramento, California. Community and culture. Catch you in the next one. Later, y'all.